Uh, let's uh, first of all, we got Mad Mike on on here. We got a representative from PanelRiot.com. Uh, we need to make sure we talk about uh, Steve Amell popping up on Raw last night. It's been a little bit. Well, okay, it's been since WrestleMania since we've had some celebrity interaction on this level. I love that WWE is getting back to this and making it more meaningful than just a Raw guest host position uh we're getting it at wrestlemania we're getting it at the wrestlemania the summer as they're trying to uh it seems to 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 get this to uh with SummerSlam. uh steve amell arrow guy that does his own stunts is going to be in a wrestling ring i know some people are a little bit against this as we've talked about and we're not going to say ill things of the fans and uh co- co-hosts of other podcasts uh in the chat <laughs> During this part of the segment, Mike. Um, But in the meantime, uh, uh, I think everybody here, I I would think, is pretty stoked about this. At general general levels of geekdom, I think we've assembled the comic nerdum uh, panel of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Mad Mike, you're the one that I can tell as I keep expanding this out to make this segment go longer. And I see you vibrating in the corner of the screen uh, because I know you want to freaking say something. Flash. Flash vibrates. (laughs) Mad Mike, he's doing the dance what, what do you think of this i think it's awesome i think if john stewart could wrestle he would be Stephen amell <laughs> because they're both what? two they're both huge super fans of it like Stephen amell went to comic-con and interrupted his own signing to go talk to sting because he's that big of a fan wow. i think the fact that he does his own stunts um, as we saw him raw, he, he clearly looks comfortable in the ring, at least, you know, based on whatever he's been doing. I mean, if, if you've seen one episode of arrow, you know, the dude's in shape, he's in shape and he's better in shape than anyone tough enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and no and, way. So not ZZ. Especially ZZ. Oh, I want to see that fight. <laughs> I want to see that fight. <laughs> Uh, no, it's it's not Arrow that fights Crocodiles, it's Batman. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be fun. I I don't mind that they put him in a tag match because it you know limits what he has to do and everything. And it's basically going to be like Snore for him, and he does really well at that. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it'll get some new eyes in SummerSlam because he has a huge social media presence. Especially on Facebook, he has tons and tons of fans. And I'm pretty sure not all of them are wrestling fans. Mm-hmm. Certainly. So, I, mean, it, it, I think it's good for WWE. It's going to be great. That free month of the network gets people in. Get them hooked. Mm-hmm. Bobby, what do you think about this? Um, I think it's good. Um, uh, I kind of disagree with uh, Mike about the tag team match. I think it's good that he's in the tag team match. Uh, I think – did you say you- – Oh, no, I said it was good. Oh, okay. 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 I thought you said it, it wasn't good that he was in the tag team match, but yeah, I think I think it's good that he's in the tag team match because uh, he's not the focal point, you know. And if he if he does make a mistake, something like that, it could be easily covered up. But which, which mm-hmm. not saying he's going to make a mistake because he's a trained stuntman and an actor. Uh, well, but I mean, uh, I, I, mean I, I think there's a lot to kind of give the uh, uh, you know he's a stuntman, so he's a closer to a wrestler than than most people mm-hmm. that get, get in there. I, I give you that. I don't want to automatically, oh, he's a stuntman. Of course he can do wrestling. That, I mean, but still, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it I mean, still gives him a little more credibility in going yeah. into it. And, and plus, wasn't uh, Mike or, or Will, or, or, or LB, what's your name on the show? Um, <laughs> what, wasn't there some word that, you know, again, being a really big wrestling fan, as, as mentioned, uh, isn't there something about, wasn't there word that he might have been training for a good while here before we heard about this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he, he keeps in amazing shape anyway. Uh, I mean, like Mike said, he, he does his own stunts and everything like that. If if there's any anybody on these superhero shows that is qualified to do this and hang with the uh, superstars in the WWE whose lives are essentially performing and then working out and then performing and then working out, uh, I think Stephen Amell is, uh, is the one to do it. I don't see the guy playing Flash jumping in the ring anytime soon. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 no. But I mean uh, – Stephen Amell is also going to be in Ninja Turtles 2, mm-hmm. and so is Seamus. Mm-hmm. When they filmed the first confrontation with Stardust, that was after the filming for Ninja Turtles 2 had been done, or mm-hmm. was at least mostly done. So he could have even been working out with Seamus, like if they knew that they wanted to make this a thing. Because he's been saying on social media for a while that he wanted to be a part of WWE, like he wanted to be at least a guest host, maybe do something. So I think yeah. this 
course for a while. Are we getting into a really interesting spot here where I like I still think I've been I've been telling people as 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 we as as they've we this conversation has come up over